Generally, shareholders have a statutory right to inspect corporate records, though the specifics of that right may vary from state to state. In the 1991 case, Sadler v. NCR Corporation, the Second Circuit considered whether an out-of-state corporation had to provide its corporate records to in-state shareholders when the shareholders couldn't obtain the records under the laws of the state of incorporation. NCR Corporation was a technology company, incorporated in Maryland, that conducted a substantial amount of business in New York. AT&T was a telecommunications company, incorporated in New York. In addition, William and Barbara Sadler were New York residents who owned shares of NCR stock for more than six months. In November of 1990, AT&T purchased 100 shares of NCR stock. Approximately one month later, AT&T made a tender offer for shares of NCR, but NCR's board rejected the offer. In January of 1991, AT&T solicited NCR shareholders to convene a special shareholder meeting to replace a majority of NCR's board. AT&T and the Sadlers then requested NCR's shareholder list to better communicate with shareholders. Further, they requested a list of beneficial owners of shares who didn't object to disclosure of their identities, or a no-bow list. At the time, New York law allowed New York residents, who were shareholders for at least six months in an out-of-state corporation doing business in New York, to obtain a list of the corporation's shareholders. By contrast, Maryland law only required Maryland corporations to provide its list of shareholders to requesting shareholders who held at least 5% of the corporation's outstanding shares for at least six months. As a result, neither AT&T nor the Sadlers would have been able to obtain the lists that they were requesting under Maryland law. Subsequently, NCR denied the requests, and AT&T and the Sadlers sued NCR in United States District Court for the Southern District of New York, relying on New York law. In response, NCR argued that the Sadlers didn't qualify for the lists under New York law because of their arrangement with AT&T, who held stock in the company for less than six months. The district court disagreed and found that the Sadlers qualified to obtain the lists under New York law and required NCR to comply with their requests. NCR appealed to the Second Circuit.